Hello everyone. I am back to share um, another <laughs> another happy mail from my sweet friend Angie. This is my um, this happy mail was for my anniversary with my hubby. So um, she had this ready for a little while now, but because things got so um, just so chaotic for me, um, she knew that I wouldn't be able to uh, get to it right away. So I, she just held on to it until I was able to um, get back into the swing of things. So um, here it is. It's so beautiful. It came in about, oh gosh, maybe a little less than a week ago. But um, oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. I'm so excited to share this with you. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just jump in so that we can kind of get through this quickly. I don't want to drag this out. She sent me... Um, she sent me the journal and some other gifts. So I'm going to, um, she sent also another letter with this beautiful, um, vintage postcard on the cover. So, um, our anniversary, it was our 29th anniversary and, uh, it's on July 4th. That's our anniversary. So she always incorporates stuff that are date specific. And I absolutely love the way she does that with all of her, um, her creations. It's just so super special, but anyhow, I'm just going to, um, show you this postcard really quickly. Isn't that so pretty? And it's from 1908. Love that. <clears throat> it was just attached to the letter with the rusted clip there. And that just says, please read on camera. Okay. Hello to all. I love and am humbled by your sweet comments on my friend Denise's YouTube and Instagram shares from her birthday and Easter happy mails so very much. For her 29th wedding anniversary gifts, <clears throat> I have created a vintage wedding theme. You will notice several references to 29 as well as Juliet and July 4th for those from the USA. 95% of this five-piece parcel are authentic vintage pieces. It is jam-packed with so many fun treasures. The only copies are eight vintage photographs, a copy of a large vintage French du Louvre pouch stuffed with pretties, one postcard in reference to Denise's anniversary, German reproduction die cuts, and a few salty treats. A few items from a tattered dreams, a tattered dream, Denise's Etsy shop that she will point out. Denise's large journal measures 10 by 4 and 3 quarters. All of the handmade laces are hand sewn onto four pages that make up the signature, which are authentic French documents. I wanted to make this journal look really old and tattered like it was found in an old trunk in the attic of an old farmhouse this journal was inspired inspired excuse me by rachel at roxy creations a few years ago she shared two vintage journals that she found at a flea market and i was like eek i gotta make one <laughs> lol thank you rachel you are a sweetheart for sharing those gorgeous finds which are indeed treasures the base of Denise's baby journal measures four and a half by three and three quarters. It was created using scraps and rejects from the large journal. The dried flowers throughout her happy mail were fresh flowers from my local florist. I've also included an eight piece bundle of authentic vintage finds. One being a 1906 indenture that I cut in half to use as a folder to house 29 pieces of authentic French ephemera. Lord willing, for Denise's Christmas Happy Mail, I am making her a 7x5 version of this hand-sewn vintage lace, and, vintage lace and documents journal using angel die cuts and giving her two more goatskin indentures dated 1824 and 1873, the latter being a double-paged indenture. Love, hugs, and blessings to all. Stay sweet and kind. Angie. So you guys, everything in this Happy Mail was phenomenal, but I have some incredibly sad news. So she sent this journal and there was a baby journal that went with it. But when 
I received my box um, the, and I didn't notice it at first, but um, the, the top of the box had been cut open. So the box, the, the shipment got delayed. It was held up in, I can't remember what state it was held up in. And by the time the box came to me, the little journal was not in there. And I didn't think anything of it. At first, I thought that I didn't think anything of, of the retaping of the box. I assumed that Angie had taped it up and then forgot to put something in, cut the tape right down the center, and then retaped it. That's what I assumed had happened until I started going through it and noticed that the small journal, the baby journal that matches this one was not in there. So from what I can see, everything else is in there. I don't know if the box was inspected and they just didn't put everything back in because I just can't see somebody rifling through all of this stuff and just taking out that journal. Um, it was still all very carefully packaged. So, but I could tell that things had been kind of moved around. And like I said, the small journal just wasn't in the box. So, um, super, super sad. I don't know. I don't know if they just, like I said, were just inspecting the package for whatever reason. Um, but you know, it was UPS. I don't, I don't know that they do that. I know that UPS or USPS, the post office will sometimes inspect packages. I don't know. I'm not real familiar with, um, the policies of UPS, like if, if they do that or not. So that, that is the only thing that I could think of that happened to that baby journal. And my heart is broken about that because she sent me, um, she sent me a photograph, one of my staging photos, and the baby journal looks just exactly like this, but it's about yay big in comparison. But it was, everything was, it was its twin. It was just a little mini, mini journal. It had the clip, it had the same cover, a little bouquet, just like this one. So I am so, so sad about that. But anyhow, Thankfully, everything else made made its way to me, but unfortunately, my little baby journal, my little matching journal to this set did not did not make it home. So um, I know that she is going to be devastated once I tell. I have not. I have yet to actually tell her about that. I just <laughs> I didn't even really know what to say. I I just feel so bad because I know that she works so incredibly hard and puts her entire heart and soul into these creations. So I just, ah, oh, gosh, I don't even know what to say about that. But anyhow, super sad about that. But let's, in the meantime, let's go ahead and go through this journal and then I will go through it all the other stuff that she has sent. She's um, made another one of those Deleuve envelopes here, stuffed that with some vintage goodies. And then she's um, she's made me a couple of um, other bundles of just, you know, vintage ephemera and goodness. We've got some laces here. And then she sent along a baggie stuffed full of goodies as well. So, um, but I'm going to go through the journal first and then we will, um, we'll move on to all the other goodies. So she's just got, again, you know, she's got all the vintage laces. She's got the closure just done up with this gorgeous, gorgeous clip which again, you guys, the baby clip had the pair to this one, the other clip to this one. So that is just, oh, I just can't even tell you how sad I am about that right now. But anyhow, 
So this just opens up like that. And then we've got this gorgeous, gorgeous little bouquet of dried flowers that she's just kind of put right across there like that. Oh, and then um, I'm just going to move this off to the side as well. And then we'll get into the journal. So I hope everybody's doing good. Um, aside from that little mishap, everything is going well for me. Hubby is on the mend. He's doing so much better. Um, so inside the flap. So you guys, this is all um, authentic ledgers and um, French ephemera throughout this um, journal. It is so gorgeous, you guys. So she's got a little pocket here and <laughs> she's got, so in here, in this little, um, postcard, she put me, <laughs> she's so sweet. She, because it was our 29th anniversary, she included $29. Isn't that so cute? Angie, you are such a sweetheart girlfriend. I absolutely love you. You are too much. So there's $25 <laughs> or 29, excuse me, $29 that she just stuck right inside that little postcard. Isn't that so sweet? Oh, I just love her. She's so cute. So, so look at that postcard. Isn't that gorgeous? It's all embossed, super old. It's got that little pocket there to put your little monetary gift in there and then there's the back and I can't I don't see the postmark date but but it's old I'm sure very very old and then she's included this vintage sheet music here but that's so beautiful and it opens up but it is just so delicate that I don't really want to risk tearing it absolutely gorgeous you are too cute Miss Angie Louise and those just took right in there and then this is just stunning. Look at that. And this is on that red cotton paper. But look at that. Penmanship. Holy smokes. Don't you just love that? So, so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And this is dated 1767. Amazing. Then she's got another, um, put that down here, over here on this little page, she's got some vintage lace with a rusted safety pin up there. I do carry those in the shop. And then she's got this beautiful vintage photograph of what I'm assuming are, are, to me, it looks like bridesmaids at a wedding. Isn't that so pretty? And then that is just backed on some vintage ledger. And then over here on this side, she's just got some of that German scrap. I love that stuff. So pretty. 
And then we've got another vintage lace pocket on this side. The lace is stunning. And inside there, we got all kinds of goodies inside that little pocket. I'm just going to take these out really quickly and just bring that up so you can see the beautiful writing on that ledger form, ledger paper back there. And then the lace as well. Look at that. It's so soft and delicate. And I don't know if you can make out, she's done a ton of slow stitching throughout the, um, throughout the journal. I don't know if, if it's coming out on camera, if you can see that or not, but oh my goodness, just amazing, amazing details. So much work. And then inside that pocket, she's just got some more vintage ephemera. Another postcard. Isn't that so beautiful, you guys? Just incredible. All the goodies. Then up here, she's got another French document here. And that's from 1827. And on the back, she's just done some slow stitching there. I'll just collage that little piece on the back of that. Isn't that beautiful? And then there's this. So pretty. Look at all those beautiful hair combs. Pretty little snap sacks there. So pretty. Love that. And those just all slip right inside that gorgeous lace pocket there. Again, you can see on this side all that slow stitching that she's done. Some more of the German scrap down at the bottom there. Isn't that beautiful? And then she's got a couple of more elements in that beautiful lace pocket as well. Look at that lace. How pretty. Angie, I'm so sorry that that little journal didn't make it make it to its forever home my heart is seriously it's just broken girlfriend I am so sorry I've been <laughs> I've been so afraid to tell you I just I know that that's as devastating as it is for me even more so for you given all the time and effort that you put into these beautiful gifts oh lord I must have gone through, when Angie packs these parcels, you guys, she puts so, she's so careful in the way she packages them. She puts so much tissue and bubble wrap to make sure that everything arrives safely. And I went through everything. I was like, no way, it's got to be here. Like, what, how am I missing it? And I went through every single piece of tissue and I've still got it all. I've got it all in the box behind me. And 
it's just just wasn't there here we've got in this little pocket here we've got this little tiny german book page isn't that so sweet look at the that gothic um font on that i just love that this little itty bitty envelope which i'm sure we would not be able to get away with mailing something so small anymore but there's a little tiny letter and you guys the handwriting on this is just stunning and so small Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. Then again here, another beautiful, authentic, um, I think this is a, um, what do they call these? It's not ledger, it's, um, uh, I can't remember, never mind, pay no attention to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's got this bit of lace up here, that gorgeous rusted pin, some more of that German scrap. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh my gosh. And then on this side, she had tucked in there, she had this vintage postcard from Paris. Sorry, I keep going off camera. And then there's this beautiful piece. Super pretty. And then again here, she's got another little flap. So this is the center of the signature. And that's that document there. Isn't that beautiful? It's so pretty. And then on this side, she had this other document here. Isn't that just gorgeous? <clears throat> you guys she has just gifted me so much incredible french ephemera so much and here she's got um one of the uh glassing envelopes and she's just got inside there vintage photograph wedding photograph and it's just backed with some authentic ledger or documents. And then this beautiful wax seal with some baby's breath in it. Isn't that so pretty? Love that. And that postcard there says, Your happiness, my wish. And it's from 1916. So beautiful. Isn't that amazing? So much great stuff. 
and those just tuck right into this pocket that she's created down at the bottom. And she's just topped that off with a piece of lace and a rusted paper or a rusted safety pin. On the back side, she's got this um, vintage envelope here. And then again, another wax seal with some baby's breath. And inside here, she's got that photograph, vintage photograph. So neat. Another beautiful document back here that she's again slow stitched some more lace on the opposite side but you can see all the slow stitching that she's done all the way around the page to create that pocket on the other side. Another beautiful piece of that German scrap there and then look at that lace. How beautiful is that? Wow. And then in this pocket, she's just got some tatting wrapped around some more documents here. Just, um, just slides right off. And then, so, this just is a little pocket that she's made. To tuck all these goodies in. Another um, uh, antique wedding photograph and she's just placed that on top of some sheet music. Another um, red cotton book page there and then this old French envelope there. And those just tuck right in there and then this gorgeous tatting. Look at that. How beautiful. So much work goes into this tatting. And that just sticks right back in there. So pretty. And then Here's part of that um, goat skin indenture, I believe. This stuff feels so cool, you guys. And then she's got another document here. Isn't that so pretty? She's just placed, this is rag cotton as well. And then she's also placed another little piece of German scrap right up there. And another little card. Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. So pretty. Another postcard. I love, love this postcard. You guys, look at how pretty is that. It's um, embossed. I love the colors on there. And then look at this. It's just got the tiniest writing. That message there. So pretty.
love that and then the very back we've got this large document here such an incredible piece Gorgeous. God, I would love to be able to write like this. So beautiful. Hmm. Just stunning. That's from eighteen sixty. all of this authentic ephemera is beautiful and this is a vintage um, French menu from 1947 here's the other side isn't that so pretty Just beautiful. Got that piece there. So delicate. So many beautiful pieces, right? Oh, Angie, this is just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, goodness. And then she's just created a pocket there on the back. Out of a postcard, she's layered up some some more vintage lace, another clip, a vintage rhinestone clip there, and then across the top she's got some more lace, and that is the back cover. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love that. Love, love it. Oh. <sighs> So this stuff just tucks right back into the pocket here. And then this goes right on top. And that is the journal, you guys. So I'll just do, I'll do a quick, I'll zoom in a little bit there, quick flip through. These documents are just incredible. Incredible. So beautiful. Hmm. What do you guys think? Isn't it just gorgeous? I don't know if I showed you that um, when I was going through it the first time. But she's got some, um, just a little snippet down here with the straight pin fed through it. I don't think I showed you that. And the back cover. And there we have it, friends. That's the large journal. Oh my god, I'm so sad so sad about the small one. Oh, Angie, I'm so sorry. I, I seriously, I don't even know. 
I'm, I'm certain that you're just heartbroken about that because I know I am and I'm so sorry about that friend but this is just beautiful absolutely love that so I'm gonna move this off to the side here and then I'll go over all the other items that she sent so we'll go through what is in this beautiful little envelope that she's always making. I love the way she does these. So gorgeous. She's just got that doily clipped up on top with one of those little Tim Holtz clips. And then inside here, she's got all kinds of goodies. This cute little button or a jar, cute little jar filled with vintage buttons. She's got this beautiful lace and it's just wrapped around one of these. Um, it's just a, like a, a very weathered um, tree branch. But this um, lace is just so pretty. And then she's got this gorgeous little tatted hanky here and there's um I don't want to undo this there is a clip in here and I'm going to move that off to the side for now <laughs> I don't want to untie that Look at how cute this um, beautiful little sampler fabric for the lace, or not lace, excuse me, silk sampler. Isn't that so pretty? It still has all the pieces attached. How gorgeous is that? That beautiful antique photograph it's got the book corners or the photo corners on it still she's collaged some lace with the rusty pin up there and it's just backed with some of that um german book page some more of those little german i think this is i'm not sure if she said this is from a bible little German Bible that she has. It's some pretty um, labels. So I can use in my journals. So beautiful. And then another um, menu cover, or menu, excuse me, just menu. And then that beautiful Paris postcard. I really don't want to undo this. <laughs> But I'm going to. Let's see here. Oh my god, look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh my gosh. That is gorgeous, gorgeous. Whoa! A beautiful brooch. Angie Lou. <laughs> oh, girl. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. What am I doing here? Let's see. I'm sure you guys probably get tired of watching me um, 
fuss with all of this stuff sometimes. So let me, if I don't do this now, I will forget how it's supposed to go. So I'm going to have to do it right away. Sorry, friends. I'll tie it a little bow later, but that's for the most part good to go. So I'm going to stick these back in here. Oh my god, that is so precious. I just love that. What an incredible way to present a gift, my goodness. And then she got sent along this beautiful lace here. Isn't that so pretty? So there's that one just binding it. And then I don't want to undo this because I love the way it looks. I'm just going to keep it just like that in my basket. Look at how sweet. So beautiful. And then there's this monstrous stack of goodness. This clip was just floating around in the bottom of the basket or the bottom of the box, excuse me. I don't know what that was supposed to be attached to. I saw this one on the opposite end, so I just got it and put it here. So, um, I'm so happy to see these, you guys. I just love, love those. Look at that. And I will wear them. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so pretty. So, um, so there's the pair. Aren't those stunning? Oh my gosh. And then this just slips right off. But look at how she dressed up that tag, you guys. It's the Louise sisters. <laughs> so pretty. So, so pretty. That lace is gorgeous. Then she did a little snippet down at the bottom with another rusty safety pin. Absolutely stunning. But she sent me this um, postcard book. And I don't want to... I don't want to flip through all of them because it's so old. I don't want the perforation to start. I don't I don't want them to tear out. I'll try and undo it real quickly, but so this is from Lucerne. Aren't those amazing? How neat to um, come across something like this completely intact still. Have all the postcards intact and just beautiful. So beautiful. What an amazing piece. Amazing. Let me just. I'm I'm thinking that's where these go. Um, Angie, you'll have to tell me if that's correct or not. Um, this one at least, because this one was already on, on this side. So I'm guessing. That this one went on the opposite side. So, you'll have to tell me if that's correct. And then. This gorgeous lace. Oh my gosh. 
look at this I'm not gonna untie that pretty bow she's got but look at that isn't that so beautiful Wow that is just stunning 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 and then yeah I usually um, stand when I'm filming but I think I'm gonna sit down for a little bit my my feet are getting tired so there's this here oh look at how beautiful it's a I think it's a marriage certificate French marriage certificate there's the beautiful couple Isn't that so cool? So pretty. Another authentic document. October 1872. God, this penmanship is just amazing. So amazing. some beautiful collaging up there with some um, vintage linens and a, and a vintage antique button there. Oh, look! Oh my gosh. She's got some dried flowers, an old string of pearls, a beautiful photograph. Oh my gosh, I don't want to, I do not want to take this off, but you guys, it opens up and, oh my gosh, look at that. Okay, I have to stand, look at that old clasp. Can you guys make that out? How crazy is that? Goodness, Angie, look at that photograph. Oh, it, it just slips right out. Oh, thank goodness. I wanted to be able to show this, but I don't want to risk ruining that petal, that flower petal. So this is an old invitation, I'm thinking. And like I said, it does open up, but I don't want to... I don't want to take that off. Oh my goodness. Angie, this is just so amazing. Can you guys see the little gemstones in there? Oh my gosh. Girlfriend. Oh, darn it. I did it anyway. Son of a gun. <sighs> oh, well. Okay. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. She sent me a McCall's pattern. Look at that dress. 
Holy cow. I love that. So pretty. And then she's got this indenture folder that she's made here. And she's just wrapped it with some um, some jute. But she used one of the inventory tags from the shop to create this beautiful tag there. And there we are. <laughs> we look like we're on a little shopping spree. I've got a bag there full of goodies. <laughs> Oh, how sweet. Look at that black lace. Just beautiful. And then this indenture. Um, it's from 1906. It just opens up. And she's got... Oh, this is so cool. This is one of those old tin photographs. These are, these are so neat. Angie, this is just amazing, girlfriend. letter from 1953. I don't understand French. I'm not... <laughs> I don't speak French, so I'm going to get my little paperweight to try and hold this down. There we go. So much beautiful ephemera. Holy smokes. Look at that. many goodies. Angie, thank you so much for sharing with me. Oh my gosh. <sighs> she sent me the mother load, you guys. That's from 1865. Look at that, 1882, isn't that so pretty? Wow. I just love that people have saved these documents and receipts. And Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, 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 wow. It's just amazing to me that this stuff has lasted all these years. Wow. Looks like these entries were all from 1868. I don't know if you can see the dates right there. Beautiful, beautiful documents. Be able to scan all of these. Hmm. That typography up there is so pretty. So, so pretty.
my goodness, Angie, you sent so much. <gasps> oh my gosh. You are so, so generous. So generous. Holy smokes. Look at that. How cool is that? Some more red cotton documents. I love these. She knows these are my favorite. This paper is just, just incredible. Goodness, Angie. Hmm. Isn't this stuff amazing, you guys? She has... The most incredible sources for oh, antique goodies. She really does her sources for her ephemera and her laces and just everything she comes across. She is just has such an amazing, amazing collection. Look at the size of this document doesn't even, can't even get it in, in frame here. Look at that. Wow. Oh my God, it just keeps going and going. <laughs> Wow. I don't even know. You know, you're just like, I'm just in awe at everything. Look at that. Everything she sends. My goodness. Seriously, you guys, these, and she tells me, <laughs> she tells me when she sent this, we were texting back and forth and she says, this is just a small little happy mail for you. I'm like going through it now. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> a small happy mail. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at all of these beautiful pieces. Wow. There is just something about all this rag cotton book page that I am just in love with. In love with it. So there's three of those. You know, she has sent me... Um, numerous pieces over the years and so where I live you guys we don't have sources like this I mean where, where I can find you know vintage paper ephemera there's I've we've got a lot of antique stores antique shops and things but it's mostly like furniture and um, not really a whole lot of books no ledgers to be found um uh let's see where did this start right here 
no ledgers to be found um just really not not any paper ephemera whatsoever so um and and no vintage laces or anything like that i i come across some linens but not anything nothing like what she sends i i just we don't have that out here i i don't understand it um but she just Gosh, she has such an incredible um, knack for finding the good stuff. I just got to tell you. I can't tell if this is... It feels like it's two pages, but I don't think so. I think it's just thick. Oh, look at that. Look how cute is that? I just love the writing. It's all hand done. Just beautiful. And then another document here in the back. My goodness. Oh, gosh. So I'm just going to move this stuff off to the side here so that I can show you the indenture that she used to, to wrap this in. So she cut her indenture. This is one of those goat skin indentures, but look at that. Isn't that amazing? Angie, I do not know, girl, how you brought yourself, that's from 1906, how you brought yourself to cut this document. <laughs> Look at that. You guys, this, this goatskin stuff is just, it's so crazy. It feels so... So neat. Can you see the embossing on that seal? Love that. Then you got the wax seal still in the back here. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. Did this paper clip go? <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to watch the video and see where I took that off from. So then this jute twine just wraps right around there. So that's that pile of goodness. Oh my gosh. Talk about crazy and then um, so this lace will wrap around all of that so then she sent a bag full of more stuff you guys so this is one of the eight and a half by eleven newsprint bags from the shop and she's just um, put a little collage piece to top it off here I'll show you that really quickly she's got some vintage German book page in the back and then she's just topped it off with some uh, looks like that's from a, I don't know I would, I would imagine that's from a music book vintage sheet music and then she's done a gorgeous collage up here with some German book page vintage photo some um, cheesecloth and antique button You've got some um, hooks there, some of the vintage hooks. And she's just topped it on some um, antique lace. And then again, she's got one of those um, weathered uh, sticks there. And she's just wrapped it with some lace 
Isn't that so cool? Absolutely love that. And then she's just clipped the bag shut. It's held it. This is held on to the top of the bag. And on there, she's got some um, ball chain with some antique buttons on one of the ball pins from the shop. So let's stand that up right there. Let's go inside here. So in here, I've got some peanuts and cashews, or maybe they're all cashews, actually. Yes, they are all cashews. Mm -mm -mm. My husband and I love cashews you guys they're so good so she always sends me snacks I love her to pieces for that so in here we have more ephemera authentic ephemera look at that so she's got that okay the clip goes on the side remember that <laughs> Look at how beautiful is that. Wow. So gorgeous. Look at those lace collars. Modern lace making. Fashions for April 1900. Wow. Hmm. So pretty. Butterick Publishing Company, our Paris establishment. Another page out of her young lady's journal. Look at how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is from April 1892. Isn't that beautiful? This gorgeous napkin. Look at her. So you got her on. There's four images there to play with. Super pretty. And then here's some more. Oh my gosh. How beautiful. Oh. Another, <coughs> excuse me. Another ledger sheet from 1832, it looks like. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Oh my gosh. And then these, you guys. So this, um, these are pages that uh, come from a very, very old um, antique German encyclopedia that she picked up. And she sent me like 30 pages from there to play with. But isn't that so beautiful? Got a couple of illustrations, but just that 
gothic font that I just love, 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 love. So many of those. And that, my friends, is my happy mail. My small little happy mail. <laughs> when she said that I was like what are you talking oh my goodness crazy oh Angie my generous sweet friend I don't even know what to say anymore I just oh gosh thank you that's that's all I can say is thank you so much for everything, for everything you keep doing for me, for always being there to talk to me, just encouraging me and for the prayers and the positivity and, oh gosh, just for being an amazing person. You are, you are such an amazing person. It's just, there's so many amazing people in this community, you guys. Everybody has their friends. Angie's one of my best friends in this community. We've been friends for so long now, it seems. And she just continues to amaze me. Um, all the time. Just with everything she does and just her creations are phenomenal and her support that she gives and she's just incredible Angie I love you girl and sister I am so sorry about my little mini journal my heart really is broken that that didn't make it home I don't understand this has never ever happened before you guys ever so I've never had one of my packages from Angie open before ever um like I said I don't I really don't believe that um you know, it was done maliciously. I honestly think that if they opened the package to inspect it for whatever reason, I think they just forgot to put that little journal back in the box. I mean, I, I, I just, I can't see them seeing all of this and just taking that little baby journal out and sending everything else along. I just don't see that happening. It had to have been a mistake on their part but regardless it is heartbreaking and Angie I'm so sorry that that happened um, you, you guys will see I'll, I'll be posting pictures of this her beautifully staged photos of this happy mail on my Instagram page so um, you guys if you guys don't follow me on Instagram please um, go take a peek I'll make sure to leave um, links to my Instagram handle, my Facebook business page, and of course to my Etsy shop if you guys are interested in, in getting anything um, that Angie used in here um, to use in your in your creations. So um, you can you can see still pictures there of everything. So um, you guys, I hope everybody is having excuse me, is having a beautiful, beautiful week so far. Um, the weekend is almost upon us, so hang tight. And hopefully you guys are, are set up for, to have some fun this weekend. Be safe in whatever you do. And to everybody that has sent well-wishers and prayers for my hubby, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of that. Your... Um, your prayers are, are definitely appreciated and um, I appreciate all of you so, so very much. So thank you for that. He's, he's doing so much better. He still has a long way to go, but um, 
he's he really is just doing a ton better so thank you all for keeping him in your prayers you guys are appreciated and um thank you for coming to visit with me i uh, will hopefully be back to visit with you guys again soon okay we'll talk to you guys later Bye bye